today we are going to be making some awesome science stuff. Here is some snow I made. Well, you're probably asking how I made the snow. And it's because, well, it isn't really that much of snow. But you'll see how to make instant snow today. You'll need water. You'll need a cup. You'll need instant snow, a.k.a. sodium polyacrylate. I don't know how to pronounce it. And some big scoops. All right, first off, you're going to want to open up this instant snow. There. Now, you take some scoops. Or, I'll do that real quick. There. I know you probably can't see it, but there's actual instant snow in there. Now, you'll need some water. And what you do is you just pour it in. And pretty soon, it could turn into snow. You could probably see it happening right now. But the water made the sodium polyacrylate turn into some snow. Same consistency and everything. It feels really mushy, which is kind of what you want it to feel like. And it's just really fun to play with. And that's how you make some instant snow. Get out, please. Today I'm going to show you how to make the incredible water ball. The incredible water ball is made with hydrophobic sand. Which, whatever you do, if you even put it, well, if you actually put it submerged underwater, it will stay dry. A big scoop and water. Okay, so, the first thing you want to do is open up your hydrophobic sand. And get your, well, big tablespoon. You're going to want to dump it onto the paper towel that you may have. Because it, because I recommend that. And then what you're going to want to do is make a crater. Kind of like what I'm doing right now. Then you're going to want to pour water. Not too much. Because it is the incredible water ball. I'd say you can also dump some into like a pile and then do the crater. As I did not add that much. Once you pour it. And also potentially spill. You'll get this. You'll get this really nice looking little water ball. It's water. And it's sitting on top of hydrophobic sand. So that's really it. I I think this is really cool. Alright, on to number three. Number three is where you get to make your finger waterproof. Basically, you'll need aerogel, a cup, and some water. So let me open up this aerogel real quick. Aerogel is probably one of the least, um, the lightest solids in, on Earth. Well, anyways, back to the video. You're going to want to put your finger inside the aerogel and just make it so the aerogel covers your entire finger. It should look lighter. Kind of like a force field. Anyways, you're going to want to pour water into the cup. And now... Your finger is waterproof. Yeah, it'll actually stay dry. But the aerogel will still be in it. Let me try that again. It 
so it should be like that. Let me dip it in. There's no water in it. Yeah, absolutely no wetness. Other than your finger being a little wet, it's still not as much if you dip your entire finger in it without the aerogel. So that's pretty cool. On to number four. Number four, and also the coolest one, is making your spoon waterproof. So basically, you'll need aerogel, a spoon, some water, and a cup. So basically, you want to scoop some aerogel, or actually, no, not aerogel, hydrophobic sand. Sorry about that, my bad. Um, anyways, you're going to want to take some hydrophobic sand, like that, and put your spoon in the water. Your spoon does not get wet. It does, but like, the hydrophobic sand is still dry. No moisture. If you put it back in, still nothing. Um, yeah, that's really all. If you also dump it, you can create islands. And actually, let me move the spoon out of the way. Like, it's absolutely dry. That's probably one of the coolest ones.